Hey guys, in this video we want to go over a mistake every business has with paid ads, almost every business, and the ones who don't are the ones who really scale. That mistake is they don't understand their KPIs, both on the paid ad side and on the business side, right? So. For example, let's say you're running an e-commerce store. A lot of e-commerce store owners, you know, when they're working with their media bar or ad agency, just give them a general, yeah, just give me a 2X ROAS. Now, this does not really keep take into account so many other factors such as cost of goods sold, uh, merchant processing fees, the fact the overhead, you know, basically for the overhead that's not included in cost of goods sold and um, cost of ads and a lot of other metrics and they're not taking that into account when running their paid ads. So Raf, uh, what, what are your thoughts on this? Yeah, so it's a, it's a big mistake a lot of people make. Uh, information, e-commerce, doesn't matter. And you really have to understand that what, where are you really profitable? So for the case of e-commerce, yeah, where your repeat purchases, is the person really worth this much? What is really your average order value? A lot of these things are not taken into account. So instead of going with what you hear is the industry out there, oh, 2X ROAS should be good in e-commerce, or oh, $10 a lead, $5 a lead should be good. That's not the ideal way of approaching it. So a lot of times if a client comes to us and says these are their KPIs, I start looking at the numbers and I start saying, but that's impossible based on this because I know what our baseline numbers are as far as what a conversion rate I expect from a webinar and things of that nature. So these are things that you really have to talk to with the client and you have to understand if it's your business, you really want to, paid ads is not going to figure out your business. It's there to grow it. And it will augment either its profitability or its losses. So if you have a funnel but it's not working, paid ads is not going to make it better. So that's the first thing you have to really understand. So for example, if someone goes to your site, how many of those people that go to your site take a desired action that you want? How many of those people go to the next step of the funnel? How many of those people actually purchase? These are numbers that you have to have uh, take into account because once you have the ad side and the media, paid media, and you combine that with the ads, with the numbers on the back end, that's when you have a formula for success. Exactly, because ultimately the biggest thing we just see overall is nobody knows their numbers because ultimately it's like, yeah, I want, we want to get $4 a lead or we want to get this much cost per purchase, but none of it's based on a really deep business analysis of figuring out, hey, what is our actual, actual customer lifetime value? What is the reorder rate? What is our, you know, basically, uh, what is the point we're actually making money with every single thing taken into consideration? So that's where you really want to guide things because if not, uh, a common thing that happens, you know, especially with certain types of businesses like e-commerce is, you know, people think they're profitable, but in reality, when you actually dive deep into it, they're not really making much money at all or no money at all because there's just these random costs that are not taken into account, right? Like most people take into account only cost of goods sold as well as ad spend, but really there's just so many miscellaneous expenses that will weigh you down unless you take those into account when you're doing your calculations. And then based on that, you can really figure it out. And then the other thing with ROAS is ROAS doesn't give you a good idea of the actual profit because let's say you're pushing that data into Facebook, each different product has a different margin and so on. So you have to be diving in deeper because you could be getting a 2X ROAS and because you're selling mostly one profitable product, it's a lot better than a 3X ROAS of selling something that just has a very low margin. So keep that in mind. And yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching the video and hopefully you enjoyed it. Talk with our feet on the ground and we will talk with our head in the clouds and we will walk.